Hi, I'm Marlene King, executive producer of Pretty Little Liars. And I'm Oliver Goldstick, also executive producer of Pretty Little Liars. And we have a bunch of questions here from fans. Here goes. Priscilla S. from New Orleans. Out of all the couples, who's your favorite to watch and write for? Priscilla loves Spencer and Toby so much. So with many O's. Um, I love Spencer and Toby too, I have to say, right now, because I think it's really fresh for us and we've gotten to explore the character of Toby and Spencer who are polar opposites, finding each other and falling for each other in such a, just like a slow, you know, lovely process. I've become very, very endeared to them. That was one of those things where we thought, is this gonna work or, or isn't it? And it's really working. I think the actors are really enjoying lovely. it and our fans are really enjoying it. Ari and Ezra too are still fun to write for because you've got an interesting dynamic. If they had met under different circumstances, you know, none of them. They're soulmates. Many of their obstacles wouldn't be there. So the obstacles they do have, there are different places in their lives, but at the same time, there's something that brings them together. They're very drawn to each other. The scenes we've done in the last, you know, these, these last 12 uh, have taken them to new places where Ari has grown up a lot. And he has two in some ways. And their relationship next year is going to be very different from their relationship this year. More, I think, mature and, yeah. and more adult-like in many ways. Do you find yourself referencing the books for information? And how does that work? Asks Barbara from Birmingham, Alabama. We reference the books as often as humanly possible. We love the books. We'll pick passages from the books and sometimes do a whole episode on one chapter of the book. The Homecoming episode this last season was very much out of Sarah's books. We love Sarah. We're huge fans of the book series. And I'm sure we'll continue to use the books as inspiration and source material for the show. Right. And she's got those new books coming out, so God only knows where we're going to end up. On one hand, A torments the liars all the time, but then he, she, helped out Ari and Ezra by getting Noel in trouble. Are you guys giving A a heart, or do you <laughs> think A is all evil? Asks Valerie D. Whenever A gives the girls something, Take then she something punishes away. them. She's very dysfunctional. It's a very codependent relationship <laughs> between A and the Pretty Little Liars. If you'll notice, if she gifts them with something, she punishes them yeah. very shortly after. The so hand gets a... slapped after it's after it's offered. I mean, it's. I think with A, we also realize that this person who's out there, being omniscient and knowing everything, has the ability to um, lead these girls down a path where they think, "Wow, finally an answer." and then slap them hard. And we, we, we like using that a lot. As far as having having a heart, I don't think we can say A, a has a heart. If A helps the girls, it's because uh, she wants to use them for something bigger and better down the line. Are we ever going to see Noel and Lucas again? I love them both so much, says Jennifer F. from St. Louis. We are indeed. Yes, Noel's going to come back hopefully next season, and we're going to see a lot more of Lucas. We're actually talking about giving Lucas a new love interest, and we, we're having a lot of fun with that. Maybe he'll get a little coaching from Caleb down, down the line in, in uh, girl catching. And my favorite scenes are always the flashbacks, writes Lori D. from Philadelphia. I love how they look so different from the other scenes. Why did you guys decide to do that and do you have a favorite flashback? My favorite flashback is probably also Allison visiting Hannah in the hospital and we do a very stylistic way just because it was important for us to give that a, a feeling of nostalgia, a different memory. If you saw the finale this last year, you realize that's yet a different style than when the PLLs have a flashback of Allison. When Jenna remembers Allison, it's in a very monochromatic, more spooky way. So we use it to help you get a feeling of what that memory is supposed to evoke for you. That's it for now. But keep coming back for more on abcfamily.com.